ever lives to make intercession for us. What marks out this particular age, the church age, is that for the first time in history, there is a real man in heaven. Now, the Lord Jesus did not come from heaven as a man. He became a man-child of Bethlehem. And when he went back to heaven, he went very differently than when he came. He went back as a real man. And a real man ascended the steps to the throne of God and sat down there. And so he not only brought deity to humanity in his coming, but he took our humanity back to deity in his going. And when you come to the throne of grace, you know that the one who sits there is a real man who has wept real human tears who knows what it's like, a sympathizing Savior. And uh, the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 8 paints this picture well, doesn't he, when he describes to us uh, the intercessor in the heavens and, at the same time, the intercessor in the heart. The second person of the Trinity, the Lord Jesus, is a real man. When we come to the throne of grace, we have no doubt that he understands what we're talking about because he's been here. And he ever lives to make intercession for us. He's praying us home every step of the way. We're on his prayer list. And even if we don't pray vigorously for ourselves, he prays for us and looks after our interests in heaven, looks after our interests in the presence of God. But then the Holy Spirit has taken up residence in our hearts as Christ's vicar, as his representative. And he looks after the Lord's interests in us. We're well looked after, aren't we?